the summertime love I work for your heart Before we get started, of course, I have to do a quick length check. So my hair has definitely grown a lot just from me doing protective styling and basically just staying out of it. So <laughs> it's definitely good to see how long it is growing. Hello, hello. My name is Akos and welcome to my channel, Akos Where You At. Today I will be doing a very quick protective style that I usually do right after I wash my hair. I usually do this style on wet hair but to be honest it would actually be much easier on already dry hair again I kind of do this style as kind of like an in-between when I don't feel like blow drying out my hair but still wanting it to be cute <laughs> I wash and condition my hair I go ahead and I add in a leave-in conditioner you can add a style and cream if you want to whatever you want to use but I personally keep it as simple as possible just wet hair go ahead and separate it into two parts and then I add in my leave conditioner and my oil on top of that since my hair is wet it is definitely more difficult to try to get it as flat as possible and when it's not flat it's definitely much much more difficult to try to grip the hair and flat twist it I ran my hands through my hair to make it a little bit easier and much more flatter and I also tried to detangle it as much as I possibly could but when your hair tangles as easily as mine does <laughs> it doesn't even make much of a difference to be honest I use Eco Styler Gel and then a hairbrush to try to lay it down as much as possible. But again, it's okay if you don't get it super flat. The, the good thing about this hairstyle is it doesn't have to be perfect. The magic actually happens once you put the scarf on top. So just try your best with the flat twist and it will all work itself out. I don't really like it, so I love you like nobody else. I pretty much sped through the first time because I'm not sure if people actually need instructions on how to do a flat twist. I've been doing flat twists for forever, so I kind of just assume that everybody knows how to do it. Sorry if you don't, but I do slow it down later on so you can kind of get an idea of what I am doing. You will definitely see that once I start flat twisting, there are certain points where I can't get the hair from around my fingers because my hair is super thick and with it not being stretched out or dry, it's a lot more harder to get my fingers through to actually grip it. So you'll see that I'll run my hands through a few times trying to detangle it before I'm able to fully like grip the hair and twist it around itself. That's what I mean by you have to kind of detangle as you go. It might actually be easier if your hair is drenched. I know for me myself, when my hair is kind of in the in-between stage, it's, it's still difficult. So it's either it either has to be fully dry or super drenched for me to do a style like this. So you can spray in more water if you need to. This hairstyle definitely lasts me about a week or so. It could actually go for longer, but I usually keep mine in for about a week. Um, I notice that since my hair is wet when I'm doing this style, if I don't take it down like in between the week and try to re-moisturize it, once I do finally take this braid down, my hair feels a little crunchy because again, I'm doing this on wet hair and it's not as fully moisturized as it could be but I do notice that my hair feel a little bit more crunchy if I don't take it down to re-moisturize it throughout the week but it is so easy to do this style for example if you decided to wash your hair and something came up and you have to go out and do something you can just do these little two braids pin it up put a scarf on real quick go take a shower by the time you get out of the shower and take that scarf off it will look like you were trying and that's all that matters, boo. <laughs> that's all that matters. It will look like you were trying and that you put in effort. <laughs> 
it's not hard to do at all it's flat if flat twisting is the issue for you take it a section at a time like take little pieces of hair I guess like feed I don't even know how to describe it well so maybe I might do a video that actually shows you how to flat twist but take little pieces of hair and gradually keep adding in little pieces as you go the fact that I'm explaining this and moving my hands in motion is if you can see me <laughs> doing this voiceover right now. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady. You can definitely add you some little baby hairs if you want to, of course. You know, it's not mandatory. Like, I'm tired of people trying to make it seem like it's mandatory. But I wanted to, so I did, I did that, and that's my business. <laughs> adding in my little baby hairs I went ahead and did my little squigglies on the side <laughs> that's what I call them so I basically take some gel and then the little hairs that's sticking out on the side that I don't want to really brush down I just run it around a few times to make it more curly and yeah and voila we back full face makeup bam no eyelashes but we still cute though as I mentioned earlier the scarf is definitely where the magic is that is the key so make sure you put a scarf on after you do this style it will lay down all of the extra flyaways or all the extra hair that you weren't able to grip all you need are two hair pins or three if you if you actually require more but you honestly just need two hair pins um, take one end of the hair and soup it around kind of fold it inside the other one I don't know if that makes sense or not but just watch and see if I kept this scarf on for a longer time it would have definitely looked much better but you know we ain't got all day to be recording videos so I kind of just had to take it off <laughs> Look at how flat it's laying though. See, I told you the key is the scar. And just like that, we cute, we cute, yes, we cute. Thank you for watching. Have a great afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady. Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started, sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.